Hello and welcome back to the Football Rundown. We're here with another match day vlog for Stockport County today as they take on Worksop Town in the FA Cup first round at Edgeley Park. I don't know a lot about this Worksop Town team, but I know that I think they're in the 7th or 8th uh, tier of English football. Uh, if they get promoted this season, they go up to National League North, so they can't be that far away from League 2 themselves. I think they find themselves around 3rd or 4th in their division at the moment. I think they're in the same division as Mac Town as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of a game uh, we're in for today at Edgley Park. As I say, a team that's a few divisions below, as you'd expect Stockport County to get the win. That's no disrespect to Worksop. But as I say, we should have a strong enough team. It is the kind of game where I think we can get away with playing some players who haven't featured as much recently. I'm thinking of someone like Miles Hippolyte, who's working his way back from injury. He should be able to start the game. Someone like Nick Powell, of course, who hasn't been involved for a long time. MK Don's away. That's the last time he's featured for Stockport County. And of course, we won that game 16th of September. It's been that long ago since he last featured in a Stockport County shirt. You'd expect he'd start the game as well today. Hopefully, it's a decent game for Stockport County. A good win, a couple of goals would be nice as well. Uh, as I say, no disrespect to Worksop. I don't know a lot about them. I'm not that clued upon them. But I did see today, when I was looking a little bit into them, that they do have former Bradford City man James Hansen, who, of course, helped them on their journey to the League Cup final in the 2012-13 season. That's Bradford City, of course, when they took on Swansea City in that final. He also led Bradford to promotion at Wembley that season as well via the playoffs from League 2 to League 1. So it's going to be interesting to see how involved he is in, you know, in the game. I'm not too sure about uh, you know how effective he'll be. Of course, he's, uh, he's not got any younger since then. It'll be interesting to see what the you know what this workshop team uh, has to offer in terms of ability I'll be interested but I would expect a few goals for Stockport County today so let's get into the match day vlog <laughs> Remember the service and sacrifice of all those that have defended our freedoms and protected our way of life. We would ask you to fall silent for the playing of the last post. bad as well, he's just come back from injury as well I think recently so looks nasty, hopefully it's not too bad. Final, I suppose. Uh, 
Chelsea fans over there. Absolutely over the moon, they've just got a goal back. County have to respond. Asking questions of them. Switched on here, County. Right, right, good. Oh, quick. Oh, go on. Get Madden. Nice. It's not been good enough so far. Apparently, almost look a bit fearful at the moment, to be honest. Just under half an hour in, they've given us a good game.
Christmas, you know, for the goalkeeper. And again, he's been great throughout the day, hasn't he, really? Been good coming out, quick to come out of goal. Not benefited him with the three goals he's let in, but if we've not been afraid to attack it. home now from Edgley Park I've just edited the vlog it's going to go up shortly a 5-1 win for Stockport County at Edgley Park against Worksop Town it's an impressive performance in the end an impressive result in the end having said that at the beginning of the game it didn't look like it was going to go quite as well as it did in the end uh, I think Worksop actually pushed us quite hard in the first half an hour fair play to them and their fans I tell you what a lot of fans turned up for them today and I thought the fans were brilliant for the most part obviously once Stockport continue to score more goals. It got harder and harder for their fans, I suppose, to make noise. But around, well, over a 1,000, I think even maybe 1,400 in the end, turned up to Edgley Park today. So fair play to them and fair play for the performance, certainly in the first half an hour where, as I say, I think they really did well and really had an impact against us, kept the shape really well. Um, I thought they were pressing really well and unfortunately for them, quality uh, just, just overpowered them in the end. But you know what? Fair play to them. They've had a good run in the Cup. And I think that, you know, their fans can be proud of that team. Uh, it's obviously a really impressive result for Stockport County as well. It puts us into the second round of the FA Cup. As I say, we kind of expected it would be a win, uh, but we started to go out there and beat the team and we did that really well today. So fantastic from the perfor uh, fantastic performance from the players. Obviously a fantastic goal in particular. I think it was the fourth goal. What a cross it was. What a, you know, ball into the box from Paddy Madden outside of the foot and Kyle Wotton completes his goal scoring uh, I suppose action of the day uh, with that I think it was his fourth goal and of course Odin Bailey with the fifth 
A fantastic performance, really. A fantastic set of goals from Stockport County, but in particular that goal that came from Paddy Madden into the feet of Cal Wotton. It was an absolute unbelievable goal scored by two strikers, who were, I suppose, who were key strikers to his last season, but haven't really been able to get into the team so far this season. Be interesting to see how Dave Challen rotates this team going forward, but we did see a heavily rotated team in the competition today, of course, but we started a really, really strong team out and they did a fantastic job. So a fantastic performance all around, but in particular that goal for Cal Wotton scored, the fourth goal, that pass into the box, that cross into the box from Paddy Madden was absolutely unbelievable. That would not look out of place in the Premier League. So I have to say, really enjoyed the game and uh, we move on to the second round. I think we've got Swindon next in League Two. Uh, it's been a fantastic day and we sign off, I suppose, with a you know an emphatic 5-1 win. Again, uh, first time I've been in the Cheadle end, actually, since Wrexham, where we scored five. So we'll have to wait and see what the result is the next time I find myself in the Cheadle end. But next week, it's away at Swindon. I can't wait for it. Come on, County. Yeah.